will discuss about performance analysis of algorithm. The performance of algorithm is measured by using two factors. One is space complexity. Second one is time complexity. Space complexity and sp time complexity. Space complexity specifies the total amount of memory needed by the algorithm for completion of its task. That is to complete the task, how much amount of memory required by the algorithm. That specifies space complexity. Time complexity specifies the total amount of time needed by the algorithm for completion of the task. Simply space complexity specifies the total amount of memory and time complexity specifies the total amount of time required by the algorithm for completing its task. <coughs> now first to consider space complexity. So space complexity for an algorithm is calculated by using two parts. By using two parts. First one is fixed part. Second one is variable part. That is, each and every algorithm is divided into two parts. One is a fixed part, second one is a variable part. Fixed part means simply the variables that have independent characteristics. That is, one variable doesn't depend on any another variable. Simply, fixed part contains constants, inputs, and outputs that is independent characteristics variables are considered as a fixed part. Simply variable part means it dependent characteristics that is a variable depend on another variable that contains it has dependent characteristics that is instance characteristics of a variable are considered as variable part. So space complexity for an algorithm is calculated by using both fixed part and variable part. Now consider an example for implementing space complexity. <coughs> Simply algorithm. Suppose name of the algorithm is ABC. If it contains three parameters x, y, z. Suppose a single statement written some x into y into z plus x minus y a simple written statement <coughs> so space complexity of algorithm suppose s of p represents here suppose p represents a program space complexity of program p is divided into c plus sp here c represents fixed part sp represents variable part <coughs> so in this example in this example, first to identify which variables comes under fixed part, which variables comes under variable part. First to consider fixed part, we have three variables x, y, z. The three variables does not depend on any other variable. So these three comes under fixed part. The algorithm doesn't contain any variable part. It contains only three values x, y, z. For example, if each word requires one unit of memory if each variable requires one unit of memory so total it contains three units that is a space complexity for this algorithm is simply three that means it contains only fixed part it does not contains any variable part consider one more example <coughs> algorithm for example sum of x comma m for example, algorithm sum of x comma n initially sum total is equal to 0. For i equal to 1 to n do total is equal to total plus x of i. For example, this is an algorithm for calculating sum of array elements. So in this algorithm, S of P is equal to C plus SP. First to calculate fixed part. Here we have two variables. X, N, sorry, you have three variables. X, N and total. For example, each variable requires one unit of memory. 
So three variable requires three units of memory. That means C value is equal to three. That means that to store value x, we need one unit of memory. Value n, we need one unit of memory. Value total, we need one unit of memory. So for storing three variables, we require three units of memory. Now coming to variable part. So in this, this is a variable part. That is the variable part. That the array elements depends on value of n. For example, if value of n is five, we need five spaces. If value of n is hundred, we need hundred units of memory to store all hundred elements. That is the array values depends on n. Array values depends on n. This is variable part. <coughs> this variable part depends on n value. Now this algorithm. So variable part is yes. Finally, s of p is equal to constant three plus n. That means this part is repeated. That is this part requires n units of memory. If n is equal to ten, we are storing ten words. So three plus ten. If n is equal to hundred, we are requiring hundred units of memory. Three plus hundred. <coughs> so variable part depends on some initial characteristic. Now consider one more example. Algorithm. Suppose perform recursive calculation. If n less than or equal to zero, simply return zero. <coughs> Else return or sum of x comma n minus one. Suppose sum x of n. If we are returning this value, this is a recursive algorithm. Generally, recursive algorithm uses stack. Recursive algorithm uses stack. So stack requires three units of memory. Generally, stack contains the space for formal parameters, the space for local variables, and space for return address. Each and every stack contains formal parameters, local variables, and return address. So generally, it requires three units of memory. Otherwise, so for each call to Arsam, suppose whenever we are calling Arsam, for each call to Arsam, x requires one unit of memory, n minus one. That is the value of n requires one unit of memory and address. So here, x represents simply the base address. X of n represents the corresponding value, so we require three units of memory. One unit of memory is for value, another unit of memory is for address, some other unit of memory is for value of n. For example, if value of n is equal to five, X base address contains one unit. N is five. Next to that, n value is four. Depending on four, we are reading some n value. So for each call to this one requires three units of memory, and we are calling this R sum n number of times. And in the worst case, we are calling though this algorithm is repeated. This is a recursive technique. Recursion is calling itself until condition fail. So we have to call if statement also. If statement is calling only one time, so total <coughs> it calls. 3 into n plus 1 number of times. So this algorithm doesn't contains any fixed part. So each part depends on any independent characteristic. So it contains at least 3 into n plus 1 space of to execute this algorithm.